Hey guys, Ivan here, and in case you have been wondering, this is how Ronnie Coleman looks right now in 2019. This right here is him doing the leg press, obviously, this is his most recent post on Instagram. It used to be a ton of weight a decade ago, but it's not anymore, of course, after all those surgeries. And this is Big J, so he's partnered up with him, they're training together. And guys, I know there will be a lot of people who will say, we deserved that, he deserved to look like this and to have those back injuries because he was lifting heavy. People keep saying that the reason why he got injured or why he has all those problems with his back, so his spinal problems, and that the reason for that is his heavy lifting that was happening throughout his whole bodybuilding career. For his entire bodybuilding career, he was training pretty much like a powerlifter as far as weights. He was stronger than like 99% of powerlifters in the world and he was lifting those weights for reps. So he was really pushing it hard. He really was doing that. And for that reason, probably, I mean, that's one of the reasons, is why he is the GOAT, the greatest of all time, the legend, the ultimate bodybuilder, the best bodybuilder of all time. And people keep bashing on him, saying that he deserved this, that people are probably jealous of him, of his success, and then they go, well, he was the best bodybuilder in the world and in the history of bodybuilding, but he now has to pay the price for it. But if that is the reason, then why Dorian is able to do yoga, cycling and all kinds of activities? After so many injuries, he tore his tricep tendon. He completely tore his tricep. Not completely, it was 100% tear, but pretty much destroyed it. Same thing with his bicep. He also injured one of his hips. He had a bustle tear on his hip and I think that's all as far as I know tricep bicep and hip muscle and right now he's perfectly able to do anything and he's 60 years old so imagine that Arnold also he was always lifting very very heavy to his absolute limits and right now he is basically perfect I mean he's a 71 year old and he gets kicked from the back and nothing happens to him no harm happens to him so that's not the reason why Ronnie is uh, pretty much unable to walk right now, most of the time, and goes through so much pain. The reason for that is a back injury, a spinal injury, that he suffered years before he became a bodybuilder. It happened, I think, in high school. He was talking about it in one interview, I think it was RX Muscle, you can find it if you really try. But basically, yeah, he said that. He said he had a spinal injury before his bodybuilding career even started. And then, throughout his bodybuilding career, he was kind of going through it. He wasn't really paying much attention to it. And then, later, after his bodybuilding career was over, he, ha he started having some real issues. I think it happened at the end of his uh, bodybuilding career. He started having some real problems with his back. And then, all the surgeries. And uh, there is a whole history about it. You can listen to him in an interview. He explains pretty much everything. But the reason for that is not simply the heavy lifting. There is many bodybuilders in the world who are lifting very heavy and are perfectly fine today. If you pay attention to his Instagram account, if you follow him regularly, you can notice that sometimes he's much bigger, sometimes he's much smaller. And it probably depends on his surgeries because he had so many of them, so many complications so far. And sometimes when he has a surgery, he loses a lot of weight. Then when he gets back and when he recovers, he gains a lot of muscle. The actual problem is actually that the screws that are in his spine are falling apart for some reason. And people think that that's because he trains. Because he trains in the gym when he shouldn't. But he says that's actually not the reason. The reason is that his structure, structure of his body is kind of different. So maybe that's the problem. The fact that he still keeps training when he really shouldn't. But he, I guess, enjoys it a lot. That's something people are bashing him for, and that's kind of understandable, okay, but also he says that that's not really the reason why those screws are falling apart. He says there is another reason, so maybe we should just shut up and respect the legend. This is a not very common spinal injury, and that's why he's having all these problems, and that's why he cannot train properly or regularly. He probably can't eat for the same reason, and that's why he looks like this. And, I mean, he's also very old. He's almost 60 now. So, of course, he's not going to look perfect. But, yeah, that injury was the main thing. And uh, that's about it for this video, guys. Tell me what you think about Tony Coleman and about his physique currently. And whatever you have on your mind, tell me in the comment section below. 
Also, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Please, if you want to see more content, subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.